Welcome to Skyrim today. Uh, we're going to be doing a primary location guide again. Uh, this time it's Snapleg Cave. We're actually um, in the Rift area. You can see it's Riften. Um, we're here at Rift Watchtower. There's some other nearby locations. Boulderfall Cave, Autumn Shade Clearing. There's Sarithi Farm, the Achernox Stone, Bonus June Crest, Trevor's Watch. Anyways. Um, Hopefully that should help you find uh, kind of where we are. And we're just kind of north of um, the Rift Tower. And uh, we're looking for this little cave icon here. And you can actually kind of see Snapleg Cave from where we are. We're just heading there now. Alright. It's actually... Uh, Snapleg Cave is a little bit more to the left here. But this is a good marker for its location. Oh, and here we are. Okay. So you can kind of say maybe this is like a... Oh yeah, like I said, a marker. Um, here we are on the map. As you can see it's kind of on the side of the mountains there. Here's our local map location. We're going to go ahead and uh, pop inside. It's We're going to cover all the various loot that we can find in here. Alright. You can actually use some detect life here. See what we're up against. Alright. From what I know, this is a Haygraven cave. So, I'm guessing those little red markers might be them. Start crawling a little bit more. Oh, no, skeevers. I was actually thinking that for a second, maybe. <laughs> oh. Ah, she's gonna take it out. Alright. Let's check this ledge up here. Oh. Can't jump up to it, it seems. Okay. Let's just walk on down then. Alright. Kind of hearing something else nearby. Alright, that must be a Hagraven over there. Let's get their tails. We have a deer here. Doesn't look like there's anything on these ledges there. Hmm. We're gonna be able to collect that taproot? Nope. It's just a teaser item. From the looks of it. Yep. That's disappointing. <laughs> Honestly don't get why you can't collect these taproot that are hanging around. Oh, that looks like it actually might be a troll. Wondering where these hay griven are. Oh, it's hags. Mm -hmm. My sources might be misinformed. <laughs> Alright. That's kind of a crap robe, actually. Another hag, I guess. Uh, looks like we can't shoot her through that. There's something else kind of coming at us. A hag and a witch. Huh. That's pointing. Okay. Some torch bugs flying around. I'm not going to bother uh, catching them though. Staff of Paralysis. That looks kind of good. Soul gem fragments. Yeah. 
Let's see what's in this chest here. Oh, a nice amount of gold. Uh, at least we got some, uh... There's one alchemy ingredient. Another potion of magic right here. Alright, whatever. More, uh, ungrabbable tap roots. He's stuck or whatever. Oh, what's this? Just random green nonsense, I guess. Hmm. A few mushrooms. Hmm, what do we have? Oh, what is that? Interesting. I have never seen one of these before. Some kind of turret. Very odd. It's gonna shoot me when I crouch again. Hmm. That's intriguing. I hear spiders. <laughs> this is not the place I thought it was at all. Get him. Come on, Lydia. There's more. Alright. Nice. You got venom on these guys. See if any of these egg sacks are open. Does not look like it. This place is kind of disappointing so far. Let's take a look at our local map. Whoa, looks a lot bigger though than uh, it seems at first. We've head down this way, and I imagine we'll be heading back up around and uh, to the right there. So we're gonna pass up on that location. Oh, I got a big one. Drop that pretty quick. We got dead bandit. Actually, try to raid the wrong place. Glass arrow, greater soul gem, silver ring. Mm, not bad. Looks like I uh, hope oh, we got one egg sack in here. So there's a spider egg to grab. That's the end chest, or that's the chest location there. We're just at with that uh, big ass spider. <coughs> Okay, so not seeing uh oh there we go. Pull chain to uh open this next door. Yeah, nothing of interest in this room. We got another hag. <laughs> not anymore. I guess there's only the one in this room. Uh, whatever. Another dead deer. Or elk. Hmm. Various bones of people. Let's get that potion. Oh. Nice. So these barrels have alchemy ingredients. So they're the good kind. Breathing water. Nice. Alteration book. That's pretty worthwhile. More ingredients. Alright, looks like we're starting to get to the better part of this dungeon. It's at least a slight improvement on what we had seen earlier. Okay, so let's look at our map here. 
It looks like we're doubling back and we'll be able to pop back out uh, near the entrance there. Oh, there's our, uh, what are those spriggans? Hmm, I wonder if it'll fight for us if we let it out. Alright, so we're detected, but I'm pretty sure I'm just being detected by the spriggan and not those, uh, uh, I think there's a Haygraven. Alright, let's unlock this and see if we can have some hilarity ensue. some more. There we go. Pick that lock. Oop. You gonna do anything? Doesn't seem to be interested in this. Or them, for that matter. Let's get their attention. Oh, yep. <laughs> nice. Don't bother with him, Lydia. Oh, she's still going to anyways. Is she shooting the spring? <laughs> kind of interesting to watch them fight each other. Nice. Yeah, looks like that Spurgeon is friendly. It's about the only one, uh... <laughs> is it gonna go and... Alright, let's quickly grab some things in here. Haygraven, glow dust, Haygraven claw, and Haygraven feathers. Alright. Grand soul gem. Potion. We got some honeycomb in here. Oh, more honeycomb. Nice. Not an easy to find ingredient. And we got an arcane table. I want to see what was on this lady real quick. Oh, crap items again. Alright, let's quickly run after our sprig in here. Come on. So we got a temporary companion. Go. Go. I might have to kill it though if it doesn't stop blocking my way. Alright, whatever. I'll lead it. Alright, I got a major chest in here. This is a room we're in now. Not quite at the end. Orca Shield of Fire Suppression. That is awesome. I need that enchantment. Alright, some Steel Nordic Gauntlets. Minor Illusion Robes. Not bad. I imagine those are random magical items though, but still means that that chest is quite valuable. Alright, we're back to the crap barrels in here. Activate this pull chain. Are you gonna block my way again, buddy? Alright. Oh, it looks like we are on that ledge earlier that we couldn't reach. Where did our spriggan go? Hey! I was actually considering killing it before we left. <laughs> oh well. Might let it live because it was a nice one. So yeah, he can down it if you want for the, um... Get some actual tap root. As opposed to all that fake me out shit that we saw earlier. Alright. Uh, don't jump off that ledge, because as we saw, I just kept walking up it. We actually end up back over here. Right next to the exit. And that spriggan is somewhere inside still. Alright. That pretty much wraps up this location. We're going to check to see if there's anything outside real quick. Alright, well, we're outside now. Um give you a little better local map location now. There's this path actually that leads up and around and uh, looks like to other locations we have yet to discover but across the mountains uh, it probably goes and, uh, towards Iverstead. Um, 
But yeah, we checked nothing of real important value uh, to be found outside. I found a single gourd <laughs> growing in the wild, which is a little uncommon not to see at a farm, but other than that, nothing really. There's this really nice view of uh, the nearby waterfall you can catch, though. Um, if you actually wait today, you can see a few more things here. Uh, as you can see, um, much nicer view of things. It looks like, uh, what is that? Yeah, you can actually see um, Windhelm all the way from here. As you can see, that's the river leading up to it. You can see several locations between here and that. Um, this one in the center of my screen is actually Bone Strewn Crest. Uh, right there. And you can even see it all the way to the ocean, which is quite impressive. Um, so yeah, quite a nice view. And it looks like from here, there's something smoking. Or maybe that's just steam or something like that. Fog, perhaps. And you can almost see High Hrothgar. I don't want to fall off here. I think those are the steps leading up to it, possibly. But yeah, um, that pretty much wraps up uh, this location guide. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, whatever, um, you know, I always try to read them. Um, and if I miss anything, definitely let me know, and so forth. Uh, well, looks like I might have one iron ore vein. Yeah, not that valuable, but especially not at the point I'm at, but yeah, worth grabbing, perhaps. Um, other than that, that'll be it for this guide. Thank you guys for watching.